Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am continuing my Javanese fashion makeup series. And for this look, I thought what a better way to start the look than being outside. So this one is Mori Girl. And it is translated as girl who lives in the forest. So I thought, why not be outside? And it's beautiful and perfect weather well for me anyways not too hot not too cold so i stuck with this really simple peach smoked out look with um some brown liner and some cute little freckles and i paired it with a pretty normal hairstyle for me um the style is very earth tones very warm tone so I wanted to stick with that and um I'm really happy with how this turned out kind of weird seeing myself with normal hair but you know I, I, I for the look I will do it and I really really enjoyed it and just the brightness of purple <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial let's get started First off, I'm going to prime my lid like I normally do with the AOA Wonder Cover Concealer and Highlight. And then just blend it out with a small damp beauty blender. And then going in with the BH Cosmetics Blush Neutral Palette, which I will be using for this entire eye look. I will be grabbing that darker peach color. And on a small flat packing brush, I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and just slightly above my crease. Um, I really do love this palette, you guys. So if you want a review on this, please let me know in the comments below. And I will definitely do that for you guys. Now going on with those two lighter peaches. I'm going to use that as a transition crease shade. Just so it kind of fades into nothing. And I'm using a fluffy tapered brush for that. And I want to add a bit more dimension, so I'm taking that medium rust color and um, the same kind of fluffy brush. And I'm just going to apply that on the base of the lid just so there's a bit more depth and gradient. Then with that skin tone um, light peach color, I'm going to apply that as my brow bow and highlight. I'm not adding any shimmer, I just want something really matte and simple. And using a Wet n Wild fluffy brush. Seriously though, Wet n Wild brushes are amazing. Now going in with a BH Cosmetics collab with Bubs Beauty, I'm going to be using the eyeshadow in Hopeful, which is such a pretty like champagne-y, goldy, oh it's so pretty, and a flat brush. And I just said I wasn't going to add shimmer, but I wanted to add a little bit. <laughs> this is like how I work, but I just, I'm just setting a little bit just so that the light will hit it. And then grabbing a brown eyeliner, um, I am just going to line my upper and lower lash line, kind of drooping the liner down. Um... I kind of want a more sad appearance to the eye so I am doing that and I'm using brown because Morty Girl has a lot of neutral tones so I'm sticking with that and I'm also extending my lower lash line a bit with this liner to create a bigger doll-like eye now going back in with hopeful 
I'm going to pop that on the very center because I can't get away from shimmer because I also wanted a bit more dimension and for that light to hit it really nicely. What's a I just I, I love it. <laughs> and now grabbing um two liners. I'm using a nude one and a white one. And the nude is gonna go all on my lower lash line and waterline. And the white is gonna go on the very outer portion just to give it a bit more of a dramatic feel. And then I'm gonna get that color hopeful again and just pop it on the very inner portion of my eye just so my eyes look more awake and bright. Now I'm gonna go in with Optimistic, which is a matte medium brown. And I'm gonna set that liner underneath my eye, but also kind of blend it out so it's not so harsh. Um, and also do a little bit on the tail end. And then going back in, I'm taking that peach color and I'm just going to kind of smoke out my lower lash line. Not crazy, but just a little bit to add more color around the eyes. And at first I wanted to keep it all matte, but I'm, I'm a shimmer kind of person. So I was like, you know what? Oh well. So I'm grabbing my typical contour and a fluffy fan brush. And I'm just going to kind of add some warmth to my face. Like I would normally contour, but using the fluffy brush, I'm adding a bit more warmth um, to my face so I don't look so lifeless. And then going in with the Sleek palette, um, it is a blush by three. I'm using Chantilly and Gui Pierre. It is the matte orange and then a little bit of that pinky, goldy, orange shade. And I'm just going to pack on the blush on my cheeks and on my nose. And now, my favorite, of course, I'm going to add some freckles. And I'm just using a bit of brown face paint in a very thin brush. And I'm just going to add random dots all over my cheeks, my nose... Um, just to give it a more youthful forest look, I guess. <laughs> I just thought it added a really cool touch to the look. And then going over with Corpse Cosmetics Immortal Veil, I'm going to go over top of them so they're not so stark and bright. And it helps to blend them in with the skin. And I'm just going to add a nice nude e pink lip. I'm using the Absolute New York Velvet Lippy and Crush. And I'm just taking a little bit and kind of blending it out on my lips. I don't want anything harsh. Um, so I'm just lightly blending it out. And of course, I'm going to do the same with the NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie. Just for that hint of like naturalness. Slightly glossy, but not like overly glossy, you know? And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. Also, click the little notification bell to be notified of every single upload I put here on my channel. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>